Mm, twice as nice. All right, guys, today we are talking about the Ultra Escalante 2.0. Uh, the shoe's been out for a little while, but I just recently picked it up, so I wanted to give you my review of it and my thoughts on the Ultra Escalante. Um, I have run in Ultras before. I had a pair of Ultra Torin 4.0. Uh, that was my daily trainer for um, several months and really enjoyed that shoe. So I uh, needed a shoe for some speed work. I'll talk about what this shoe is best designed for in a little bit. Um, but first I thought I would jump into some of the stats on this shoe. Um, so the Ultra Escalante 2.0 uh, is you know, a daily trainer for some people. For me, it's more of a speed shoe. Uh, it is 8.8 .8 ounces in a men's size nine and then 7.4 ounces in the, the women's standard size. Um, you've got 24 millimeters of stack height here on the bottom. Uh, and uh, this is an, it's called an ultra ego midsole. So it's a little bit stiffer sole, a little bit more poppy, a little bit more responsive uh, than some other shoes that you might find. Uh, cushion, it's, uh, it's a mid cushion. It's not going to be a max cushion shoe. It's not going to be something that you're going to be wanting to log a lot of long miles in. Uh, so keep that in mind with this shoe. Uh, you do have a knit upper. Uh, one thing to note with all ultra shoes is um, they are zero drop, so that means that there's no difference between the stack height in the heel and the forefoot. Um, so there's 24 millimeters is all the way through the shoe. Uh, additionally, uh, you'll notice here it's kind of, uh, when you first step into an ultra shoe, uh, you'll kind of feel like they're clown shoes uh, to some extent. Uh, they do have a foot shaped toe box. Uh, which allows your toes to spread and splay, um, giving you a more natural uh, strike and, and giving you a, a more natural um, gait and stride uh, with the shoe. So, um, you know, some people like that in the shoe. Uh, I, you know, have really enjoyed it in the ultras that I have purchased. One of the things that I've noticed with all of the ultras that I've had is I've never had any blistering, never had any discomfort. So that's definitely one of the good things about ultra shoes. Um, but getting into more specifically what this shoe is and what it's designed for, as I mentioned, it can be a daily trainer for some people. For me, I, I've purchased it more as a, uh, a speed shoe, you know, my, my tempo runs, my intervals, those type of things. Um, the most that I've run in this shoe has been about eight miles. Um, for me, you know, my paces are a little bit slower than some people. So you, either if you're a, a heavier runner or a little bit slower runner, um, this shoe is probably best for speed work. If you are, you know, a lighter runner um, or you prefer just less cushion or, uh, you know, if you're, you're running faster paces, um, this may be a good daily trainer for you. Uh, for me, I've purchased it you know, specifically for my, my speed days. I've put about 30 miles in the shoe so far, uh, but overall I'm really enjoying it. Um, one thing that uh, I noticed right off the bat in comparison to my Max Cushion shoes is it is quite a bit stiffer uh, and it's actually a little bit louder too. You can kind of hear it um, smacking the ground because you've got, uh, you know, a little bit firmer uh, sole in the shoe. So I noticed that right away. But one of the things that I really liked about it uh, in the first couple of runs that I've done in it is that uh, once you get going at a little bit faster paces, uh, it does feel very natural. Um, you know, it, I, I didn't notice that, uh, that smacking of the ground uh, after I started going a little bit quicker. Um, in my warm up mile, I, I do notice it, but uh, really not a big deal. Uh, the cushion is a little bit stiffer, but that creates a more responsive ride. You can see when I, I try to bend the shoe, you know, it, it's not gonna be as, uh, as flimsy or as flexible as some shoes. Um, which gives you a more responsive ride. So when you get that toe off, it, it's a really springy feel. So that's a, a great benefit of the shoe. Um, I've really enjoyed um, you know, running some of those, those tempo paces in it. Uh, one thing that I do notice in this, because my, my daily trainer is actually a Salcone Triumph 17, 
Um, I do notice that my Achilles and my calves are a little bit more sore in this shoe and that uh, uh, when I do run in this shoe, um, which is to be expected with a zero drop shoe. Typically, Ultra recommends that you transition slowly uh, into a zero drop shoe. Uh, usually, you'll start with a short run and then build up your, your, your run distance uh, over time in the shoe just to give you time for your Achilles and your, uh, your calves to, uh, to adjust um, to running in a zero drop shoe. But um, I do really like zero drop shoes again. I'm, this is my second pair of ultras. I'll probably be purchasing more ultra shoes uh, because I do like that zero drop. Um, and they do have a great lineup of shoes um, that I feel are, are really good. This is the 2.0 or the 2.0, um, which uh, is a newer model. Um, however, they are right on the cusp of releasing their, um, their 2.5. Um, the 2.5 should be coming out this summer at some point. Um, the only thing that they do with the 2.5s is an update to the upper. They will not change any of the Ego midsole. The overall basic design of the shoe will be the same. Um, so they will just be changing that upper. And again, that is coming out uh, this summer. But overall, you know, I really like this upper. It's an engineered knit upper, uh, very breathable, very flexible. Um, you know, still gives me, I've heard some people say that the, um, the, the toe box is too shallow. So it's, uh, it doesn't give your toes enough room to kind of move up and down. Um, however, I've not experienced that. It, it seems just fine for me personally. Um, one thing that I noticed about this shoe that uh, I can't decide if I like or not at this point is the laces. The laces are made of a little bit more coarse material. Um, so when you're pulling them, you can kind of hear them kind of scratching against each other, that sort of stuff. But um, I think that keeps the, uh, the laces, uh, it gives them a better lockdown and get, they stay tied. Um, so you don't have to worry about them coming untied. So I think that is one of the benefits there. Um, overall, you can see the heel cup, you know, very flimsy, very flexible, um, no real issues there. I, I actually like that in my, uh, my speed day shoes. So overall, a great shoe. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I think that you'll enjoy this shoe as well. Also, one of the great things about this shoe is right now it is on sale. So typically the shoe retails for $130. I was able to pick it up for less than that, um, but it is on sale right now for $104 as they prepare for the release of the new Ultra Escalante 2.5. Um, so now's a great time to pick up a great shoe. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to, uh, to that site where you, can, where you can grab this shoe from Ultra. One other thing to mention is be sure to like and subscribe to this channel because I do have more gear reviews coming out. Uh, the next thing that I'll be reviewing, which I just got a few days ago, is the uh, Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro. So that review will be coming out shortly once I've put a little bit of time in it, got to know a little bit more about the watch. Uh, additionally, uh, I will be um, posting a video of my race, my virtual race tomorrow, the Aravipa Limitless Vertical Challenge. Starts tomorrow, goes through the end of the week. Uh, tomorrow is where I'll be putting in most of my mileage and my vertical gain. Uh, I'll be doing an 11 and a half mile uh, route, uh, which has about 3,500 feet of elevation gain. My plan is to do it three or possibly four times tomorrow, basically spend the whole day out just going up and down the mountain. So I'll be sure to post a video on that. Uh, additionally, I'll be doing some more miles throughout the week, but that tomorrow will be my big day. So um, I'll put together a video of that experience uh, and post that as well. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you soon. And don't forget, run slow to run fast.